videns dominus, flentes sorores Lazari ad monumentum. tus est coram judeis, et clamabat. Lazare veni for us, et prodit ligatis manibus et pedibus. Qui fuerat quadriduanus mortus. This Sunday's communion antiphon recounts one of the most moving moments in the gospel, when Jesus wept. The first half of the antiphon adopts a strikingly sparse musical texture, allowing the words to speak for themselves. Seeing the sisters of Lazarus at the tomb, the Lord wept. The antiphon begins with videns, emphasizing that it was upon seeing Mary and Martha that Jesus began to weep. Jesus weeps not only for his deceased friend Lazarus, but also for those grieving with him. His heart is moved by our suffering and our grief, and he weeps over us and with us. The antiphon continues with Christ's cry, Lazare, veni for us, Lazarus, come out. These words are accompanied by a dramatic musical figure that rises above the rest of the antiphon, highlighting their great importance. Perhaps we may compare this to the grieving of King David as he repeatedly cried out, O oh, my son, Absalom, my son, my son, Absalom. As he called out that name so dear to him, David would continually bring back the memory of his lost son. But there is something greater than David here. When Christ, the son of David, cries out the name of Lazarus, not only his memory is brought back, but the dead man himself is raised to life. It was through Christ, the life-giving word, that the Father spoke creation into being. Now, through that same word, he breaks the bonds of death and brings Lazarus back to life by the calling of his name. We, too, who were dead in sin, have been called by name and brought into God's life through baptism. And every day, the Father continues to call out to us in Christ, beckoning us to follow him to everlasting life. But perhaps, like Lazarus, we feel dead, tied up, and reeking with the stench of decay. Perhaps, like Martha, we are afraid to let the Lord into our places of woundedness because we fear the odor of shame it might release. In these moments, it is all too easy for us to fall into despair, doubting that God really sees us, really loves us, really has the desire and the power to heal us and bring us life. But the story of Lazarus reminds us that there is nothing that can separate us from the love of God in Christ Jesus. Not our tied up hands, not the stench of shame, not even death itself. In the midst of our sorrow, Christ speaks to us the same words he spoke to Martha. Did I not tell you that if you would believe, you would see the glory of God? As we enter into these last few weeks of Lent, then, let us open our hearts to God, entrusting everything to him, knowing that he will show us his glory and bring us abundant life, even out of death itself. Videns Dominus, flentes sorores Lazari ad monumentum. Lacrima tus est coram judeis, et clamabat. Lazare veni for us, 